Hello, my name is Jamie Irvin. I'm the host of the Heavy Duty Parts Report. You're watching a video series, How to Sell More Parts. This is part four. We're gonna continue our discussion about making sure that we service our customers. So in video three, we talked about how sometimes delivery drivers will rush in, drop parts off, and fail to pick up returns, goods returns, core returns, warranty returns. And we talked about why it's so important to make sure that we provide value and good service to our customers. Once those returns are picked up and brought back to the store, another area where I see parts departments falling down is they fail to process those returns quickly. And even if the store processes those returns quickly, once they're shipped to their DC locations, sometimes it takes a long time for those returns to be processed. And this is just unacceptable. It creates all kinds of problems. Later on in this series, we're going to talk about how sometimes there's an issue with the accounting department. And a lot of times it's directly related to this issue. The customer doesn't pay their bill because they know that there are a couple thousand dollars worth of returns or five thousand dollars worth of returns yet to be processed that they have the right to return. And so maybe they'll pay their bill, but they'll short pay. So this is all part of creating a system to make sure we provide high quality service to our customers once they do make that buying decision and buy parts from us. And if we want to sell more, we've got to make it really easy for people to do business with us. So if this is an area where you know it's an issue, you've got to come up with some systems to make sure that these returns are brought back to the store in a timely fashion, are processed in the store in a timely fashion and sent to wherever they have to go. And then at the same time are processed at the DC and at the manufacturing level. So every level has to do their job for this to work. And it creates an enormous amount of, of stress on the parts people when the customer is upset at the store because the credits haven't been processed and it's not their fault. Maybe the store did a great job, right? But the whole company has to be able to make these things happen quickly, get customers their credits, and really grease the wheels of doing business with your parts department. My name is Jamie Irvin. I'm the host of the Heavy Duty Parts Report. Thank you very much for tuning in. Go over to heavydutypartsreport.com. Make sure you subscribe to all of our content. And if you missed any of these videos in the series, you can go over to our YouTube channel. All the videos will be there. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. You can watch our next video. And don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel.